Right, welcome everybody to another MTGO League. Going to be running some creativity in Pioneer through today. Uh, this is one of my choices for the upcoming uh, regional championship qualifiers I've got. I'm going to the regional championship in Lille. Haven't qualified, but I'm going to be playing the last chance qualifiers there. And then there's an open on the Sunday as well. So I'm going to be giving that a go. Um, so if people haven't seen this deck for a while, it has fallen off a little bit. Um, but the idea is to... Yeah, you don't run any creatures apart from some big fatties and then you make some tokens to cast in double creativity to put a, a big threat in um, sort of as early as turn four so we have ways to make a lot of ways to make tokens whether it be my uh, prismari command or fable making you know the various tokens they make the deuce is a good one makes tokens um, and then also some of the lands fountain port so can um, all make tokens as well the fatty of choice today is a Vault Born Tyrant. So this is uh, whenever it or another creature you control with power 4 or greater enters, you gain 3 life and draw a card. Um, and then when it dies, it makes a token copy of it. So you just gain loads of life, draw loads of cards if you create a creativity for more than one. Obviously copying this with uh, with Fable Reflection is, is obviously very, very good as well. Sideboard, I'm trying out a few things. So we have two sort of transformational... Uh, options so we can put the world spine worm and zendigos in so this is going to be where we want to fight some sort of quicker decks that aren't likely to remove our worm bring it in against things like lotus field uh, got horror against any pesky control matches that go around and then we've got some sweepers excellent um some more removal some controlly type bits i'm trying four ley line of the void i feel like it's quite well positioned at the moment um the new phoenix builds are a lot weaker to sort of dedicated graveyard hate um you know it shuts off the reanimation of phoenixes it shuts off um you know everything like that they're not running as many backup threats like ledger shredder so yeah i'm gonna try that out um we've got multiple ways i don't i don't like ley line avoid if we don't have ways to kind of pitch it but we are running three volcanic spite three prismari command and uh, for Fable of the Mirror Breaker to kind of try and loop loop it through. Uh, just a couple of tips and tricks with this one. So um, first, the, I guess, Voltborn Tyrant. The token it makes is a carbon copy of Voltborn Tyrant. It is CMC7. Not uncommon to get. I've had people try and Fatal Push the token before. That does not work. Well, you can target it, but it will not die. Um... What else? Was there a, I think there was a few other things. Three steps ahead is an excellent spell. It can just be a count, you know, count spell. You can pay five mana, count target spell, and draw two, discard two. Um, but you can also make a copy of a creature. So we can copy Vault Born Tyrant for extra, extra uh, triggers, and you know, just try and win the game that way. Volcanic Spite, obviously, in there. If you draw a Vault Born Tyrant, can put it on the bottom. Um, there is a room in here so this is one of the new rooms essentially just a two mana removal spell with some grindy power at the end um, so yeah I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say um, so yeah let's get into the league I hope everyone's doing very well wherever you're watching from today and thanks very much for watching please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already playing a bit of pioneer at the moment um quite a lot of modern as well so if that's the kind of content you like please do consider subscribing um yeah so this hand is not great obviously we have two vault born tyrants in it we can kind of discard them but then we have, get short on creativity targets so mulligan's yeah i'm just gonna mulligan here this hand is awkward but i will keep it and i think we're gonna just bottom the room Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine on the play. I'm going to lead off with Dryer Disruption. Um, I really don't want to get Thought Seized and have the uh, our only land <laughs> taken away. We'd love an untapped land. Okay, looks like this is... Uh, yeah, Company, which I don't think is a very good matchup. Creativity is very awkward into this. Okay, 
you know, some of our spells are just pretty taxing. Uh, okay, so we can't unfortunately cast. I'm just going to deduce, I think. Play the land. One spell per turn isn't too bad for us. We can actually creativity this turn. We won't into open mana. Okay, opponent has Spellbinder. They're going to take the creativity, I would imagine. A few bits on the sideboard for this matchup. It is getting, it has gotten more popular. We've got three extra spot removals and two sweepers. So, in terms of what we keep in, I think we keep on the Voltborn Tyrant plan. They take the Fable. Oh, because we don't actually have triple red. So, yeah, that's a good play. Okay, another creativity. It's going to deduce and look for our land. We find fiery impulse. No land, unfortunately. Okay, spellbinder. I'm just going to impulse the which one of these is it I'm just gonna hit the spellbinder I think we're less bothered about this we need to hit our lands Okay, they took Spell Pierce. That probably indicates they have. Um, probably indicates they have a. What's it called? A collected company. But I can cast the Spell Pierce. It costs two more. Probably just going to want to draw a card here, try and hit our next land. <coughs> I guess it is a little bit awkward that our lands come in tapped, but... Okay, take some damage. I wonder if we're meant to wait for this spell pierce. I don't think so. I think we just need to draw some cards. Playing costs here. I will spell pierce if they go for it main phase. Okay, so now we can go uh, draw with this. Okay, find the land, which is good. <coughs> I think now we need to hold up Spell Pierce. So it's play, land, go. They're going to go for Coco. Oh, they have that. Okay, sure. How much damage is this? Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I'm going to draw a card. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because now we haven't got anything to creativity. Yeah, that was dumb. I think we're just dead here now. I think they've got Coco anyway. Uh, this casts more. Yeah, we can just concede here. I think this matchup's pretty rough. I mean, I didn't play that very necessarily very well. So we want all of our removal. We don't want, I don't think we want things like negates and spell pierces. Um, 
disruptions probably fine anger of the gods is obviously great the room is good any removal is good uh, let's trim a dig maybe trim one disruption All right on the play and yeah this hand's good um, You know, we've got the safety valve in Anger of the Gods. All our mana comes in untapped. We've got a counter spell as well. And yeah, yeah, that sounds really good. Print mulliganing to five. The only thing we can't do is kill an elf on turn one. Kind of it all. Spy bluff go. Do they have the elf? They do have the elf. Okay, we draw creativity, which isn't the worst draw. I wonder if we're meant to anger of the gods on turn. It depends what they play. If they play a enduring innocence, yeah, that's really good. Because, um, I think I'm just going to do it now. Don't really want them drawing out of it. And Anger of the Gods removes Enduring Innocence as well. So just torch the tower for the record. Okay, that's fine. Oh, well, coming in tapped is annoying. Um, don't really want to bargain this we can keep hold of three steps ahead here Fan of our elves is fine that's going to eat a torch the tower Watch the elf. Okay, and now we're just creativity. Um, we could room and then hold up three steps ahead, but what could they have here? They could have get lost or something. I think I'm just gonna do this. No, I'm, I'm going for creativity, I think. Like they need exactly get lost, but I don't think they run too many of those. Now we can, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we just need to untap here. The opponent does w run ways to deal with this. Um, but we have ways to kill kill those things yeah like this you know not really a good answer I mean it's fine but we just kill it and we get another ETB trigger uh, so we go steaming furnace oh no I always get this wrong it is roaring furnace that we the one we want Kill the bodyguard. And now we just wait. There's no, I don't want to play. I don't want to play Fable or anything. Like the only way the opponent gets out of this now really is collected company. I will counter this virtue of loyalty if they find a land. But yeah, here we're just, we're just so far ahead here. If we can untap, then we can start you know, doing things. Um... Yeah, nothing we really want to change. It may be on the draw that we need to mulligan quite aggressively to find one of our six removal spells for a turn one elf. Don't know, we'll see what we open. Uh, yeah, this is good. This hand's really good, actually. If you could sculpt your hand against this opponent, it wouldn't look too dissimilar to this, I don't think. 
Um, I'm actually going to shock in here. Reason being, I if if they don't have a turn to play, we can potentially play the disruption. They shock in. Hmm. Now that they've drawn that, that's fine. Oh, this looks like it's going to be that virtue thing. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I wanted to hold the mountain in case they played the Archon, then it comes in untapped. They don't have another land. Don't want to use my Rending Volley on this. Okay, we find a land. Do I play Fable? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I want to get the Fable down while there's no risk of <coughs> running into Avon Interrupter. Probably been a little bit unlucky to not find lands, but you know, they, I think they probably kept two lands and an elf. I think it is really, really important here to kill the elf. Could be okay. Bodyguard. Bodyguard's pretty good. Then we've got some options here. Right, opponent gets rid of our token. Uh, quite like our hand no I think I'm gonna keep keep everything we kind of want to do stuff at sorcery speed so I'm just gonna go uh, deal two damage make a treasure two damage here we'll make a treasure And then we we'll just pass the turn and hope to creativity next turn. If they keep open any number of mana that signifies Avon Interrupter, we, then we won't. Mm, Spellbinder is, I mean, they're gonna take the creativity. Yeah, I'm just going to Rending Volley now. Take no damage and then we can use the room to remove the Spellbinder. Although, how much? it costs two extra. So Creativity for one uh, usually costs four, it would cost six. So I could just creativity this. I actually quite like that. Let's put a Voltborn Tyrant into play. Like the X spells are so bad into um it's a good draw. The X spells are so bad into even interrupter, because you, you just can't you can, it's just it's just counter spell on a three mana creature. Okay, they play Coco. Sorcery speed is good into well, they could. Okay, opponent doesn't hit anything of note. Um, they did have some outs there, so something like brutal Cathar. No, they don't really. It would have to be. I was thinking they could have something to exile this and something to attack our hand but nothing we've got three removal spells in hand so um, we'd have just got this back so yeah good win there see you for round two right on the draw against a gigantha i'd probably keep this on the play but on the draw especially against the gigantha deck i think we want to get rid uh we didn't see a good one after mulligan again down to five this is better um we'll keep i think just th three lands so we want spire bluff ditch otawara and a basic 
So we have some removal here. Okay, looks like black red prowess. At least our lands are painless. If I had a removal spell, I'd probably just use it now. Plot a show off. Okay, let's go this. Uh, Roaring Furnace. Deal with that. Like, yeah, I think we're just we're probably just going to get run over here. Don't have too much sideboard against this. More spot removal is good. Against this, I think we probably want the worm. Okay. Well, no extra damage. Three steps ahead is actually pretty good. If they don't do anything here, although even if they do, it would take a lot to counter something, I think. That's this at the beginning. Choice of double strike or trample. Are we winning the game by countering this? So we counter this. Hmm. I don't think so. I think a creature's fine. Like if they play a, a non-creature spell, then... I I think we're so far behind. We just need to. I need to loot with this three steps ahead, and we need to find something quite special. Oh, a bit or ability. That's wild. Oh, and they hit the burn together. Yikes. So we're taking that is a sorcery at least. Okay, so we take four, five. Go to fifteen. Oh sorry, go to ten. Play a land. We don't have any sweepers in the main. Yeah, I'm just going to loot. Um, let's discard our steam vents. Don't really want to show them the vault born tyrant. Juice is good. Ooh, torch the tower. Okay, so what do we torch? I just don't think they have any non-creature spells in hand. I think this, because it combos with this, I think, yeah, I think it's just this. I'm actually going to cast with Bargain, I think, so that we can scry by sacking the, the room. We haven't got time to do the room. Bottom that one. Just have to hope they just have lands in hand, really. Okay. So, Anger of the Gods, Negate, probably, Torch the Tower. 
and then I mean Volpo Tarrant does gain a load of life, so actually Actually no, I think this isn't a <clears throat> I think this is just a a Volt Bond Tyrant matchup because you can you can Volt Bond Tyrant for one. Cut the dig three times. Uh, three steps ahead is interesting. Negate. I don't think I think negate's probably a little bit slow actually. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, I think because we might always want a creativity on turn four. Right, this sounds good. Um, we can keep this one. I got removal. The mana base will be pretty painless. Let's see. Okay, I'm probably just killing that. Launch the tower. Now that we've drawn that, I think I'm just going to use my mana. I might put. Hmm, I don't think I am putting anything on the bottom. To draw a card. No, quite like what we've got. Thoughtseize. We do have a couple of removal spells. Okay, so we will be Prismari commanding that. Uh, we'll make a treasure, deal two damage. Just keep the board clear. Another hero. Uh, we'll just play this and pass. Could block here, but they probably have they have things to give trample. I wonder if I meant to just I was probably meant to use a sorcery speed there. Now, if I did, mm. okay, Kimano is fine. Okay, it was the juice. I suppose I could have made a token. Okay, it's the juice again. Okay, another land isn't great. Three steps ahead is good though. Um, let's just go Lava Glide again. Just need to find creativity now. Right, so yeah, we've got some decent spells up. But they're kind of incentivized to Cast a creature here. Obviously, we'll counter a thought seize. Um, we could just counter, but I think I want to loot. Counter target spell, draw tree, discard a card. Hmm. With these clue tokens, I'm actually just going to counter. Because what we don't want at this point. Oh, hold on. Oh, we do have a treasure. Yeah. What we don't. Oh, they can target it with fame. Actually, yeah, oh, that was dumb. Because they can cast claim anyway. To what I didn't. What I was going to say is I don't want them. 
you know, getting a trigger from this. Um, oh, but it's only, okay. So it's disruption here. Um, but yeah, yeah, I should have rummaged there. Although keeping the monstrous rage off this isn't nothing. Got a few drawers, got some fountain port stuff going on as well. Just need to draw creativity. Okay, no luck. Uh, yeah, I'll just spike that now. Uh, play fountain port. Trouble is, we can't really draw with the clue now because we need something to creativity. This isn't another monstrous rage. It's a lot of damage. Torch is good. So let's do that now. Oh, we have to. This is, is uh, have to cast that with bargain. Kill this. Do we make a fish? No, I think we just have to sack the clue. Um, I think we will top the anger. We are at five life, unfortunately. We can block with a fish it's been pretty rough I think yeah I think I was probably meant to rummage with the three steps ahead that was done but at the same time yeah we you know haven't could have done with hitting a creativity at some point here uh, yes yeah, so we will fish block yeah but if they have another monster's rage we're dead anyway yuck so that's exactly lethal Ugh. well that didn't seem good um don't really know yeah rummaging i think if we draw creativity, we probably win that game. He's gained so much life with the tyrant, but I ended up having to draw a load of cards with um, the clues instead. So, yeah, uh, that deck seems pretty good, but I have to think of a, a better plan for it. But yeah, let me know if you've uh, got any suggestions, other suggestions on that one. Um, yeah, let's move on to round three. Right on the play here. Uh, what have we got? Two lands, Vault Board Tyrants, and Removal. It's fine if they're on a creature deck. I think we could do better on the play, though. Uh, this isn't great either, but we've got enough lands. I think we'll do it. Bottom of Vault Board Tyrant. Let's play Steam Vents Tap. Restless Reef. Okay, blue, black, something. It's still on the mills. Yeah, so it could be like a D. I have seen people experiment with a demon combo similar to um, what was in the Pro Tour that's just gone. Okay, well, that's a good draw. That's like turn four. So you don't know what they have. Hopefully let's tap out for a creature here. 
can go for our so draw two discard to make a treasure. Uh, discard spite. Hmm. I think it might be a creativity because we're not going for it. No, we're not going for it into two open mana. It's reeks of negate or spell pierce. I mean, they can be pretty sure we've got another. Another creativity, I suppose. But want to be able to protect our combo. So we can. What we're going to try and set up here is a dig through time, end of turn. Look for. They either. You know, they might counter it. If they don't, we'll look for either a backup creativity or some disruption of our own. Yeah, Pismari Command's nice. <laughs> the hand could all be fatal pushes and stuff. So, I'm going to Prismari command first. No, just dig through time. So we can pay for spell pierce this way. Okay, we'll take negate. And... Another land. So we can, yeah, then we can creativity and hold up negate. Okay. Do this. So how many do we creativity for? We want to hold up two mana for negate. So we could do it for, if we do both the clues, that would be for six. Let me. Hmm, we can actually only do it for, oh yeah, that's fine. So let's go creativity, one clue, two clue. Pay for spell pierce. Okay, they could have a wrath, I guess. But we do have negate. Hmm. The other good thing about creativity and closed deck list tournaments, obviously, they don't know what you're you're going to put into the onto the battlefield. It's most there's a few choices. There's Vault Worn Tyrant. Like we're doing. I've seen some people experimenting with Valgavoth, the the big demon. Um, Memory Deluge is fine. Um, you know, some people do Gear Hulk. Like here, Gear Hulk would have been a reasonable option, considering we've got to dig through time in the graveyard. Okay, draw a load of cards. Put the steam vents in the bin. So they could go for the demon thing here. That would actually be quite scary. Although we can remove if they are on. Yeah, it is the demon combo. We can actually make them draw with uh, Prismari command. <laughs> interesting maybe I should have counted the deluge yeah D 
don't really hmm. probably need to just Ottawara that. Because we don't we need to get through and we don't want Yeah, we need to get through, but we don't want this to trigger because then we draw a load of cards. So let's Ottawara this. One, two, three, four. Get in for 12. Like milling four is not lethal here. If they have the Ipnu Rivulet, I can't remember how many that mills for. Um, do I negate that? So we can Prismari command them to death. This can't block. I'm going to negate that. So they could go land. Restless Reef. Hmm, I shouldn't have negated that. Because we can Prismari command for the last two points of damage. draws a card this is exile that's fine okay we'll attack put them to two I think I'm just going to go for it now. Deal two damage. We'll create a treasure. If they have negate. Okay, they didn't have anything. So yeah, the idea here is that, you know, they exile all but the six cards and then they have cards to make us draw out and lose the game. Um, so I want the negate, I want the dispute probably. This is not a Voltborn Tyrant matchup. They did have an exile removal, so we're not going to bring in the Xenagos Wellspine Worm. Bring in Hullbreaker Horror. Um, the removal is quite bad, but then we're down to 55 cards. Um, what else do we want? It's none of these, I don't think. Hmm. Do they run Planeswalker? Sometimes they run Jace, so I guess Torch the Tower is not the worst. And then we saw Deluge. I suppose we could keep one Volt Born in. Yeah, keeping one Volt Born. Maybe two Volt Born. Maybe just two Volt Borns is better. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so we can keep this one, I think. The Cavern of Souls obviously makes it a little bit awkward. Okay, so with that draw, I am just going to play one of these. I will probably hold hold the other one. Might need to play at some point, but okay, doesn't look like it. And go. Juice here. The land. Let's play that one. 
look to Prismari command, end of turn. I'll probably negate like a sorcery speed draw spell there because they do need to get to six mana. Okay, Prismari command. Draw two, discard two, make a treasure. Uh, definitely discarding a canal. Probably just a steam vent. Just a couple of lands. Okay, another canal. So. Let's play that tapped. Probably just draw a card here. We could dig. Okay, Restless Reef. I think I want to use my mana. I've still got the treasure. Okay, we draw a horror. Uh, we have a lot of blue stuff in hand, so I'm just going to play this on blue. So we can counter the Uh, that's fine. We actually have torch for that. <laughs> Let's get a torch now. Go for a dig. Might fight over this with negate. If they mm, they negate, I think I'm good to negate. Like getting spells out of their hand in their turn is fine. Okay, sensor. Uh, I guess that's kind of rough. Wonder if we should be going for the trouble with the room. I guess is that if they play the demon spite, can we dig one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? No. Let's play the steaming. They could have another sensor, but we can't play around it by playing a land. Play a land so we can potentially horror. Okay, Petty Fed is pretty good. Uh, yeah. They could demon us here. Phyrexian Arena. Okay. Let's go for a fable. Then if they go for the borrower, I'll just spite it and put the room on the bottom. Okay, we find creativity, which is really good. They do draw an extra card here. I guess creativity is really awkward if they demon, yeah. Because there's no way of knowing now if we've got a 
Oh, yikes. Uh, hmm. Really don't want to draw. Hmm, that's, yeah, that's pretty rough. We can horror though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Has this got flying? Blue black shark. So when it attacks though, yeah, I don't think we can do anything about that. Yeah, I think we're just dead. I guess we could find removal for this. They are drawing an extra card. So they draw two. They draw two down to four cards in library. Can they do this twice? No, it costs it's actually five. So they do that. They go down to four cards, they draw two, then they go down to two cards. I guess we could find... Hmm. Okay, well, we'll attack. Probably should have just created... Well, no, because we've got the horror. Maybe I could draw a card. So, oh, they draw an extra card with that as well. Okay, so we need to make them draw one more. Hmm. So I could dig through time. I think I have to because I need to find... Yeah, let's dig. One, two, three. Because that's better. If I horror, hold on. If I horror, let's say I dig and I find Prismari command. It's not actually good enough here. I think we just need Prismari Command to be the very bottom card. Okay, well there's a spell piece. I can't remember if we've shuffled yet. Uh, okay, they have Ibnu Revulet as well. Okay, so there's not much we can do to interact with what they're doing. Like this, uh, why, oh, actually Rending Volley is better than Torch here. It deals with that land at least. Maybe we are just meant to Try and creativity for two with these two. Actually, I don't hate that. Like we saw some removal, but I think we want the game over with. So just, yeah, keeping the torches. Oh no, because they have loads of brazen borrowers. Yeah, no, that's not correct. Like getting Wildspine Worm, Brazen Borrowed is a non-starter. 
I'm looking at this zero land here. And this is awful as well. Are we going to mulligan again? I have enough lands and we have a scry. I guess we'll keep it. Don't really want to go down to six on the play. Oh, down to five on the play. Graveyard that one. We're going to have to have some help from the top of our deck. Like Fable or something. Not another land. I mean, lands get as close as a hull breaker, I guess. Okay, creativity. Sadly, we've got no way of making tokens. So our hands. You know, it's okay here. We're. You know, we just need to draw something like Fable, Prismari Command. Spell Pierce isn't too bad. Fountain Port would be good as well. Anything that makes a token deduce is probably our best draw. Let's keep hitting our land drops. Okay, Prismatic Command's really nice. Okay, so we'll just pass the turn. Uh, right, we'll do this now. Draw to just got to make a treasure. Um, I'm gonna discard the Rending Volley and I think Fable. No, just discard the horror and I'll pierce this. Now that we've got the creativity. Probably play Fable this turn. Deluge. Yeah, that's fine. They can have Spell Pierce, but we can dispute. That's fine. Creativity here, one, two, three, four. Hit the tyrant. I guess <sighs> petty theft is really bad. Maybe I was just meant to play Fable, maybe I was meant to dispute the Ether Gust. Okay, I think that one can just go on the bottom. Another creativity. Um, how good is no, I think I'm just passing here. Want the manor up. I've got the potential to dispute a demon hard cast. Right, let's try for this. They could deluge here, I suppose. Mm. Worth remembering that we have a Voltborn Tyrant on the bottom. 
I will dispute a deluge. Uh, do we just discard both lands? I think it's land, it's definitely this land, maybe Fable. Okay, so if we deduce, make a token, can we then, we still can't creativity for more than, hopefully we hit a horror here. No, another tyrant. Would have really liked a horror there. There is another deluge in the graveyard for the opponent. Uh, maybe I should have played it a bit slower. Juice. Yeah, I could have played it a little bit slower there. If they go for the demon now, it's a problem. Okay, there's Deluge. We're attacking for six. So we'd like to draw. Another creativity would be okay. Fable's not bad. Let's draw a card. Okay, there's a creativity. So go land, attack. So I think we'll just creativity this again. <laughs> well, Spell Pierce is probably our best draw. I guess a better draw might have been like a Fiery Impulse or something. Because like, if they go for a Demon now, I can't Spell Pierce to bounce it to hand. They haven't got the Rivulet and they haven't got the land. Oh, there's the rivulet. Okay, so they're going to mill us for four. But we can play the fable to bounce this and just get through for lethal. Spell pierce. We spell pierce this. And now what we have to do is we return the ether gust to their hand. I think they play the land they have, so we return target spell, we return the gust, because if they have their own spell pierce or dispute, we're just dead. Now we can untap, slam the fable, bounce the uh, excruciator, and win the game. And we have to use backup. Okay, good stuff. Um, difficult that one. It's a very interesting. I I don't know. I, I don't feel like it's quite there. Um, but sweet list. Um, yeah. Okay. We'll move on to round number four. Right. Decent hand on the draw here. Going to keep that one. Uh, depending on what we're against, it can dictate what we lead on. Okay, Phoenix. So yeah, gonna wanna. Uh, could, could just play Steam Vents now. I think I'm just going to play River Glide on, <laughs> on this. Uh, okay, they are on Ledger Shredder. So we'll just play a Mountain Pass.
point of hand is fine. We will spell Pierce like a free the Fay. Consider also fine. Hmm, they did been a Phoenix. Which isn't great. But if they bring back the Phoenix, we'll just torch it. Okay, turn three, Phoenix. No Phoenix for you. Okay, so we'll... Hmm, main phase to juice. And play the steam vents. Might want to spell pierce. Definitely going to spell pierce that one. Probably just going to kill the ledger shredder now. Like they get a, they get a trigger out of it, but. I think we have to kill it. Now they get to connive. They scarred a treasure cruise, so they may have another one. Did we draw a card with our clue? It's probably a treasure cruise here. I think I am gonna draw a card. It's yeah. It's got nothing going on. Yeah. It's going to take a sleight of hand, probably. I'm going to cast it now. If they cast it now, I probably won't crack the clue. So yeah, I'm not going to crack it in case we draw creativity. Well, there we go. <laughs> um, let's play the fountain pour. It's creativity here. Would have been very sad. Pretty sad to draw another land. Three lands in hand, obviously not ideal. You have a fountain port out there. Free the Fey. Probably gonna take another pick lock. Yep. Do they have a land to play? It's another treasure cruise. Just drawing so many cards here. Well, let's consider. They're gonna put a load of counters on this pick lock prankster. Oh, that's not too many actually. Yeah, flying, so. Okay, negate. Not the best draw. Attack with our dino. This is fine. I'll make a fish here, probably. What are we negating? Probably like a treasure cruise. Do we care? Yeah, I think we care enough to negate that. Cause like they're gonna put, that would put three counters on the prankster. Okay, we find an ax. If I could axe, discard Phoenix. Wouldn't be too surprised to see Axe discard Phoenix here. OK, 
Okay, artist talent. So we still have <laughs> our tyrant. Uh, so yeah, let's make a fish. Could do with. Okay, command is pretty good. So let's go. We'll cast that now. Uh, I'll make a treasure. Okay, discard two more land, unfortunately. Play this. Attack with the tyrant. Trouble is, if they go spell, 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 they need to cast, what, seven spells? Fewer if they, any of them are like treasure crews or consider. Okay, they axe the fish. Oh, I should have drawn a card there. Another axe. Okay, it's their last card. We can, okay, so we'll fiery impulse to finish off the tyrant. I think, because then we get to draw a card. Unless they put this on a different one. Okay, that's six. Hmm. So is that can just eat the tyrant now. Let's draw. Sacrifice the treasure. Hmm. Trouble is, no, I think we take this. I don't think we want to finish off the tyrant. I guess the problem is if they just, we can't remove this really. Um, this would gain us l four life, but that's still not enough. This does have trample. If they only put one in front of it. No, I don't think we're finishing off the tyrant. Spell pierce, not the best. Well, Ottawara. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, that's fine. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this now so they can't. Oh, they can activate the hall though. Uh, yeah, we can't, um, that was, I sh yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Because now we just died to the hall. Yeah. Yikes. Oh, so, so could we have done anything different? Uh, I could have bounced the hall, but this still dies. I could have, yeah, bounce the hall, but we've still got this to contend with. I can block. Hmm. I 
maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Oh, yeah, you know, it's yeah. I just I just should have looked for the hall. Okay, so ley lines in anger of the gods, mystical disputes, torch the tower, and then out with. Uh, what don't we like? Do you like Voltborn Tyrant? Do we like Hullbreaker? Maybe a couple of each. The room is not great at sorcery speed. Do you need to make a load of cuts? Do we just want Hullbreakers? I do like Voltborn for gaining life, but I think Hullbreaker is slightly better. Could cut two creativities. Oh, the spites aren't. Oh, the fiery impulses aren't very good either. Cut all those, and then maybe one spite. Yeah, taking quite a controlling role here. Yeah, that sounds great. Got a ley line of the void. Some removal as well. Um, yeah, obviously we're quite reliant on this, I don't know, like Fable's obviously very good. But every card this exiles is just really, really good. Like we saw they can do stuff with um, Profts, Eidetic Memory. Not going to slam a fable here into two open mana. Hmm. Not drawn particularly well. No, they're going to have spell pierce. I don't. I don't want to just jam. Trouble is, they can just free the fate. Oh, petty theft. That's pretty disgusting. I don't think they run loads of copies of that. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it now. Maybe I should still play around Spell Pierce. Okay, they have the gate. Otherwise, they just borrow or whatever. Like, it slowed them down, but I guess we have cut one of our cyclers here. Put it misses a land. Mm, dispute is okay. Oh, I'm going to dispute that. Don't really want uh, that being a thing. Got an answer to the brazen borrower in Torch. Okay, Anger of the Gods. I'm just going to play this. If they tap out for Brazen Borrower, I will tap out for Dig Through Time. Like, I do not want this getting spell pierced on a gated. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six. I kind of want a horror here. If we go horror, if we go land, I think just Prismari command can make a token. And it also can 
loot away this useless ley line of the void. Hopefully, hmm. hopefully let's go like all out, but don't put a counter here. Okay, Phoenix. So we are gonna anger of the gods next turn, which is obviously pretty good. Yeah. Let's go land. Yeah, I think we just go anger and torch. Like they get a thing out of it, but. You know, have enough to horror as well. Maybe I should have just cast horror. I got four cards in hand. Hmm, there's a shredder. I'm gonna Prismari come on now. Draw two, discard two, create a treasure. Because if they want to spell pierce this they at least don't get the, any triggers from shredder yeah hmm treasure cruise is bad for us here so ops not great but Hopefully they haven't found treasure cruise. Okay. Got some good draws here. That's not really one of them. Penton knows we've got ley line of the void. Need to find a spell though. Well, we'll cast this horror. Another brazen borrower is obviously pretty rough. Okay, torch is pretty good though. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're not blocking. And we can bounce Ledger Shredder. Don't know if I'm meant to do an upkeep. Mm, don't think so. Let them. Um, could return something else. Do we want them casting the shredder again? We attack for seven. Yeah, we do. Uh, yeah, just return this. Okay, 
there's the shredder. We need to keep drawing spells though. Oh, this is a problem with ley lines. Well, we are attacking. Is the four? Yeah, maybe ley lines, not the one, but that's tr uh, not quite dead to treasure cruise. Just no attack. We have got a 7-8 in play. Opponent potentially dead to any spell. How many Brazen Borrowers have we seen? Only one. Let's see, we're on Ottawa as well, I guess. Okay, no attacks is good for us. I mean, definitely casting a spell if we find it. Uh, anger is awkward because if we anger of the gods, so if we anger of the gods and they've drawn exactly lightning axe, our hull breaker dies. So I think we just want to keep attacking. I guess the risk is they have two phoenixes in hand, but I think they would have played one. There's a phoenix. That dead to land phoenix. Don't do it. Okay. See what we draw. Again, we could do with like a just a any any spell really. Like a one mana spell would be ideal. The juice would be really good. Oh, there we go. Um, if they have borrower, I think this is fine. So let's go two mana to juice. Turn this. Well, we do fight back through that. I think we got maybe a little bit lucky at the end. Um, do we want do we want rending volleys? Good into exactly shred. I think we kind of. Do we want to get rid of these spikes? Spikes are good at getting rid of ley lines, though. They do deal with Phoenix. I think we'll just ship it back. Three steps ahead is possibly clunky, actually. Let's trim one of those. Bring in. Let's bring in a rending volley. Yeah, it's another way to deal with. Deal with Shredder, I suppose. This build is less all in on Phoenix. It does at least have the Shredders. Okay, so this hand. Yeah, this is good. Um. I don't think we mulligan hyper aggressively for ley line. Like a Prismari commands can loot it away. Okay, play Spire Bluff and pass. I'm not going to spell pierce like an opt here. Okay, 
here. They put Spell Pierce in the grave. But we can kill Ledger Shredder here. Potentially. No red mana for the opponent. Okay, let's play Mountain now. Keep our life total at 20. There's a Ledger Shredder. Okay. So yeah, we're just gonna spite that one right away. Oh, hold on. We spite, they pierce, we pierce. It's not enough damage. If they connive. Yeah. Have to wait for them to potentially just connive. Okay, there's a shredder. Hmm. Yeah, I think we have well no, I don't think we do actually. I think we just untap. Don't want them to get two triggers. So now just go land pass. I don't want them triggering the shredders. I'm gonna try for a Pismari command here. Draw two discard to make a treasure. They might pierce or negate, but we're kind of. Yeah, that's fine. Right, yeah, we just don't want these triggering. Yeah. Artist's talent is very good. We can only, we could pierce. What if we pierce, then disruption, and then we could kill a shredder? Yeah, I think we do that. Okay, they don't pay, which is nice. <laughs> Obviously sensing another spell pierce. Okay, so you just don't do anything here. Another spell pierce. Tap land. Because yeah, we could have gone spell pierce. If they pay, we disruption it. The triggers from Shredder go on the stack. And then we can uh, volcanic spite one of them. Fable. I'm going to do the same thing. They'll probably pay for this one. Okay, so then we go disruption here. And volcanic spite one of these. Put the disruption back. Okay, they do bin a phoenix. But we're going to get to play Fable now. Yeah, Ledger Shredder is pretty good. Our best draw is probably um, the one of Rending Volley. I mean, it's not probably not the best draw, but one of our good draws. 
Gonna hold on to the storm carved coast here. Discard it to Fable potentially. Treasure cruise is rough here. Yeah, can't do anything about that one. Hmm, they've drawn a lot of cards. I'm gonna do this now. Draw two, discard two, make a treasure. Gonna need to find something good. It's another cruise because this this legislator is already getting huge this turn. Oh, they hit another phoenix and a borrower. That's really rough. How many cards have they drawn this turn? So they're hitting us for nine. Oh, I think. Oh, that's just lethal. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty rough. The Shredders did so much work. Okay, I think I need a better plan for Phoenix. Potentially, so we would have drawn for turn, discarded both of those, drawn two with Fable, drawn with the Juice. Well, we would have had a chance, I guess. Yeah, we would have hit Anger of the Gods through Dig Through Time, so... If they didn't hit that Phoenix, I guess we've still got this to deal with. Okay, well, I think I need a better plan for Phoenix, but we'll play round, uh, round number five. Right on the play here, which is good. Let's see. Let's see if we can close out the 3 2. Uh, Gigantha. I will keep this on the play. It might be a tad slow, but it's turn four. Um, turn four creativity, so. Oh, it's um, in Seoul. The juice is a decent one. In Seoul is slightly difficult because they have. Um, Spell Pierce. Let's see what they do here. Well, they could insole the map token, but then we have an answer for that next turn with Prismari Command. Okay, they're not doing anything there. Okay, just cast a juice. We're happy if they spell pierce this. Yep. They could have double pierce, I guess. Uh, that's an interesting one. No. Let's play the Lava Glide again. Because if we play that, we can't make a token to creativity next turn anyway. Copter is fine. I wonder if I meant to just kill now. Just like shoot this and this don't think so oh, I probably should have done this yeah I should have done this on the stat I don't think they run metallic rebuke but they might do uh 
discard tyrant land. So we still can't create a deer. Oh, we can now. Don't really want them. Guess we'll play this and just go for a fable. Re mm, the, the speed at which that went through makes me think they possibly don't have a spell pierce. Okay, Inti is pretty good. So, yeah. They're kind of incentivized to do this, to kill this. Okay, Inti is fine. I will disruption a shrapnel blast, I think. Deal two damage. Uh, so we could disruption here. Because then we get more treasures. Yeah, just disruption this. Okay, Prismari's decent. Mm, no. Uh, actually, I guess we can only creativity for one. Well, that's probably fine. Uh, deal with do the shaman. Um, let's just torch now. Opponent's got one card in hand. We're at 16 life. We have a Vault Born Tyrant on the field. I don't think they're on too much bounce, too many bounce effects. We have a very good spell in Prismari Command as well. Okay, they have an in soul. Uh, uh, well, that does have flying. Everything has flying here, actually. The Royal Scions. Okay. So yeah, we have a good answer next turn. So let's go cast this. Destroy target artifact. We'll make a treasure. Uh, yeah, we'll attack. Hold on. Target non creature artifact. So we can block here. Maybe I wasn't meant to. Well, maybe I wasn't meant to attack there. Ooh, does the Royal Science get a trample? Yeah, I probably. Mm, they have to do this, though. I'm actually not blocking with this because I take seven 
we know that they've got the royal signs in hand I just win the game if I just untap with reflection up yeah opponent sees that oh I couldn't actually block <laughs> okay this is indestructible though hmm So let's go copy here. Gain a whole bunch of life. Uh, that doesn't, I mean, that would kill this, which is probably good enough. Let's dig. Yeah, we can just take. Have we played land? Because Ottawa is lethal if we haven't. Take Storm Carved Coast. Ottawa. Yeah. Well, we nearly got got. Um, if yeah. The opponent needed yeah more mana to do what they wanted to do um than they had so what do we want here is this a match up they run ottawara i don't think they run any more bounce spells do we want the combo uh no i think that's too aggressive i think yeah just having those is fine spell pace is good three steps ahead is quite clunky negate maybe mystical dispute is good impulse all the uh, yeah I do want removal actually for inti inti in particular is very very good um, I don't know if they'll bring in graveyard hate do we want the negate I think the gate can go I think spell pierce is slightly better in that slot. But they're quite low to the ground. What do we think about this hand? This hand's fine. Like it folds to their very aggressive starts. But if we can hopefully make the game go a bit longer. Okay, they multi six, play a basic mountain. We do like that draw. A turn. Okay, copter is good. Play a land and pass. So if they have a something to crew it. Or an soul. Well, that is a good crewer. Okay. Yeah, we'll let them let them do the thing. Copter's obviously very good. They get to do some stuff here. I doubt they'll use in T because they've already played the land. The fact that they did that. I mean, I definitely forget to. But um, the fact that they did that means that they probably have spell pierce or some sort of interaction. Let's deduce. Tawara is interesting. Ooh, fiery impulse we like. So now we'll just go land be impulse yeah we have to impulse now we don't have to well yeah we don't have spell mastery so we can't kill the copter we're not uh cracking the, the clue here okay they've got another inti
Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to try and jam a fable here. Okay, Citadel. So I can play a Citadel. I'm assuming they won't go for anything else. Shadow Spear. Okay, they do go for that, so I'm just going to creativity now. They have one card in hand. But we could wait until next turn, but I, you know, I don't want to give them the opportunity to spell Pierce. Gaining life, putting a blocker on into play. They could also have a shatter effect for our clue. Two cards in the hand. Okay, in soul, a flying copter and equip shadow spear. That's fine because we have this Prismari command that could just blow them out. Next turn. Yeah. Again, we're just going to do this set sorcery speed. Don't want to get blown out by spell pierce or like double spell pierce or something. It's another good draw. So we'll just go cast this. We'll create, no, deal two. It's a long time since I've done this like Colligan's command mode. Uh, used to be a favorite of modern Jund. Deal two damage, destroy target artifact. Two damage, artifact. It's pretty brutal. Uh, yeah, let's play that. How bad is it if they find in soul? I actually don't think I'm attacking. I think I think I want to wait until we can hold up something or like play more blockers. Because if they find in soul and attack, it's pretty bad. I'd like to block with the tyrant. Okay, so they have Shivan Reef in hand. They could add Gigantha. liking our position here okay they equip that's fine could do with gaining some life um, let's go fable a land tapped. I think I will attack now. Well, yeah, again, that was probably stupid because this is a. I just have a toe counter on it, to be fair. I'm probably just meant to keep that back as a blocker because if they be in soul here, equip Shadow Spear, that is a lot of damage. But now we can just hold up Ottawara and dig through time potentially. I'll probably discard. Okay, that's an Epicure. Surprised they didn't do that sorcery speed or like pre combat. Oh, Shrapnel Blast. Hmm. Well, that was a good draw. Couldn't have done anything there, to be fair. Okay, well. Don't think we want bring anger of the gods. Just resubmit. Yeah, shrapnel blast. Maybe I should be going for the combo here. Oh, I was uh, getting quite confident there. I guess we're at six. If we can untap and draw. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Can 
gonna lead on lava glide. Yeah. It's doubtful. Well, I might use my mana actually if I torch the tower. Yeah, I think that's fine. Now we have another removal spell. Depends what they go for here. We've got spell pierce, which is nice. Spell pierce that one. Land go. If we get to draw with volcanic spark, we put a land back now. Okay, that's pretty good. They haven't held up blue here. Okay, so we've got Ottawara, which is nice. If they go for a Copter attack, can Volcanic Spite. Okay, there's Inti. I think I'm going to kill the Copter. Yeah. Let me take less damage this way. And they don't get a draw. Hmm, that's pretty bad. Could have Ottawa it, I suppose. Really need like a fable or something. Oh, that's not very good. Okay. Really need to find some way of making tokens. I wonder if I went to Ottawara here. Okay, I'm gonna Ottawara the Inti now, I think. Stop them exploring. Maybe I should avoid in anger. So Prismari Command is now our best draw. But yeah, this isn't looking great for us. Shrapnel Blast. Don't know if they've played a land this turn. Okay. Well, we need something good here. Impulse is nice. Do we, uh, we have to impulse the Inti, I think. Really need to find. We're dead in three turns, although maybe f less if they use the blood. Yeah, need to find Prismari. Like Fable would do. Well, that is a good one as well. <laughs> uh, right, so this, this. One, two, three, four, five. Pay the extra one. Um, none of those are great. I guess we just take removal. So 
Torch the tower can't actually deal with this though. Which is awkward. God, that is not a good dig through time. Definitely torch. Probably a land. Do we want this creativity of this and hope they have a spyglass arm? Probably not. Let's take a land. That was not the uh So we'll let them crack the blood. I'm just going to torch this. It pro well, no, we shouldn't do that because if they find in T, oh, we're dead to shrapnel blast anyway. If they go to attack, I'll probably torch this. But we haven't got any way of making stuff. Is the problem? Probably shouldn't have bothered there. Let's blast. Yeah, that's rough. Well, that really didn't go well. I don't know, we didn't seem to draw very well there. Uh, we had like fine hands. So, review didn't bring in this at all. Um, don't know if it's worth it. Leyline of the Void was. It has been good, but. You know, uh, pick lock, not pick lock, the brazen borrower is just really rough. Don't know. Uh, confidence docked in it a little bit, but I think I think the deck's still good. I think, um, yeah, I need to sort out the Phoenix matchup because that's obviously very popular. But uh, yeah, let me know what you thought and if you've got any um, advice on decks to, to play or, or this deck for the upcoming tournaments that I've got. But uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.